Hey guys, it's Unsalted Pickle, and it's been a long time since I posted this channel, but I thought I would be helpful. And basically what we are doing is I'm showing you how to use Canva editing. And Canva editing is basically this little website type thing. And the reason I'm showing you how to do this is because not everybody has Photoshop, like Mr. B. If you don't know who Mr. B is, um, he is a YouTuber, and he uses Photoshop. So if that's something you like, yeah, pay $19 a month for that. But if you do not have that, or the money, or the time, or you're not a pro like I am, it's sad. I mean, who needs Photoshop? Oh wait, I do. Anyway, so <laughs> Canva is just a little, little, little free little tip, hint, thing, whatever. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I, I already made a thumbnail for this, so I might as well use it. I made the thumbnail using Canva, so... Yeah, let's just continue on with this. So first off, you're going to want to type in literally Canva editing. So there you are. You just literally click that in. And hold on, it's going to take forever to load. My apologies. <laughs> but once it loads, oh, surprise, I have another one. Once it loads, you should get something like this. And you can pick on one of these. Canva Amazingly Simple Graphic Design Software or Canva Free Online Photo Editor. Whichever one. Once you click on one of those, click, click you go to a thing like this and you can click sign in or connect with Facebook or whatever have an account login so moving on um, you have this stuff once you sign in I'm on unsalted pickle obviously now first to create thumbnails as you can see I create a bunch of them this is where I create mine again not Photoshop but whatever and I can do what I want you click more and you basically just go straight down to YouTube header or YouTube channel art, whichever whichever one you want. But yeah, it's sort of like PicMonkey, which I will be having a tutorial coming up pretty soon about PicMonkey as well. But I will be just showing you guys the features of this, basically, pretty much. It's very simple, people. Very very simple. But heck, you can need a tutorial for it, so I'm not gonna judge you. Basically, let's just whatever. Let's just start. Let's say you got a picture off of Google, okay? Uh, and you wanted to make like a little thumbnail, obviously. Alright, so this is how to make thumbnails. So basically what you want to gonna do is go to your documents if you have a picture. And I'm just going to pick a random picture here. Um, just don't look at my pictures. I'm just going to pick Sims 3, okay? Let's just pick that picture. All you do is take it, you drag it onto the screen, and boom. All your uploads appear here. So there we are. I'm going to take it, and as you can see, I can make it bigger pretty self-explanatory I can twist it if I like or let's say I can go here there's a delete back copy crop filter and filter let's just show you guys that what that does you can change the brightness of it as you can see make it dark make it bright you can change the contrast it does come in it does come in um, handy when you're doing stuff it does come in handy when you're doing stuff so you can change the saturation and the tint see so it's, it's really in the blur so I'm just going through the different things with you guys just so you can see then the X process doesn't really do too much and then the vignette that could add like a nice cool effect to it so there you are and then we have all these other little effects up top here which I'm not going to take time to go through but if you didn't want to do anything like this customize it then it's totally fine so let's say you like it like this okay and you don't want to just grab a new one because that would be boring let's say you like it like that and you want to make another one so you click copy <sighs> pretty awesome if you want to crop it again you just take this like something like that like that and crop it to where you want it there you go it's pretty easy and then you can link it trans um, change the transparency All right, transparency is basically literally what it sounds like <laughs> it's basically like this you can put the transparency up or down, and so, yeah. And then you can link this and flip and stuff like that. And then you can put it forward, so move this forward, and then that'll go back, and then move that forward. So it's pretty much really easy to maneuver, I'm guessing. Alright, so let's try to save something. I'm just going to use this as an example. Alright, so backgrounds. You can go and change the background color to whatever you want. I'm just going to use that as an example just so you guys can see basically how to work the stuff and to make a thumbnail um, 
we have some samples. Some of them cost money, so keep that in mind. And if they cost money, they will have a watermark right there. Canva. If that's something you like, then by all means, but <laughs> it will be annoying. <laughs> I'm just going to stick with the plain back black background. All right, so moving on, you can use text to obviously put headings and stuff like that and change the stuff. It's like Microsoft Word, only you're changing the the heading. I don't I don't know. You see, it's it's really it's, it's sort of self-explanatory, but I can understand why some stuff may be confusing if you don't know the software. By the way, this is completely not sponsored at all. Nobody's telling me to do this video and nothing at all. I just wanted to help you guys out because I know starting YouTube, you know, it's all about the thumbnail game and if you don't have that, then it's not going to go well for you. And so basically, I don't have the thumbnail game so, game, so why even listen to me? But they have just basically some text like this. Let's count how many times I say basically in this video. That'll be some fun stuff to do. So you can just sort of, I'm going to play around with that. Then you have these elements and you can add frames, you can add photos and lines and shapes. It's, again, self-explanatory. All you do is you click on something you want then you put it in here and you can minimize it and make it smaller so it can fit your little your desire and your needs and you can change the color as, of those as well why am I talking like that you can change the color of the text too just in case you didn't know and the size again like Microsoft Word just completely different the same but completely different so that's that it's looking beautiful okay and basically these are also was that the 15th time I said basically? Please count. So basically, <laughs> shit, I did that on purpose. Alright, so these are the layouts, and some of them, again, are free, and some of them you have to pay for, and you will be able to see if they are paid for. So that one says big free right there. So you would assume that that's free. So basic, oh my god! So what you can do is you can search what images you want. So let's say love. Apparently they don't have a million searches for love. Never mind that. And you can make this like bigger or smaller with every little click of the button. And you can also also add new pages. So you can start with two and it'll show you on the side two pages and whatnot and copy this page and move up a page and so you can delete that page as well. Alright, so there we are. And then you can also click this and say make public or download or share and it shows file the un if you want to undo something so let's say want to undo that then I can redo that and take it away again self-explanatory and then there's also help in case you need that but you're listening to this video so why would you need help because I suck at explaining then you're gonna want to click download and just keep in mind that I'm on Google Chrome so if you're on Mozilla or you're on Internet Explorer it's gonna be a little bit different for the downloading process but generally the same <laughs> is kind of the same but completely different so what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to web whichever one whichever one this one has a little bit higher quality but I just go to web gpg because that suits my needs perfectly fine and so it's going to sit here and tell you that it's downloading and take an hour and a half but that's okay I'm just kidding it doesn't take an hour and a half <laughs> but then it says your design is ready and you can email tweet it or post it or download it if it doesn't start right there so exit that out. Okay, it's not moving. Okay, and then you're going to go here and you can always show in folder, always open, or just open it, and I'm going to just open it. All right, so there is my, uh, whatchamacallit, my thumbnail. It's pretty shitty, but, I mean, come on, we're testing it out here. It's for fun. Now you're probably wondering, hey, how the hell do I save it? <laughs> You should click show and fi file, that's how you save it, but generally speaking, if you didn't do that, you go to your downloads and it'll be right there. It'll be saved. So, generally speaking, show and folder, I just opened it for you guys, but there it is. And you can name it whatever the hell you want, but it's called a judge, that's what it's called. So basically, that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Yeah, it's kind of, um boring it's kind of stupid but I already made the thumbnail and I had made this video 
I had made this video a long time ago, but I decided to remake it because I didn't explain everything, so yeah. If you're starting out on YouTube, here's the thing. Do things that you want to do because you think it's cool. If you want to have a thumbnail similar to this just because you like it, go right ahead. But if you want to like really kill it at the thumbnail game and make your thumbnails on fleek, sadly, Canva's not going to do that for you, but you can still try and be really creative with it. It just takes a creative person. So, yeah, and I really hope you guys enjoyed that, and let's say you wanted to go back, so just click the Canva button on the top left if you wanted to go back, and it'll show you your designs and stuff, and and you can really take time and look through all of these, and hey, if you didn't even save your design and if you left out early, it's always going to be saved here, so no matter what, it'll always be saved there, and you can click copy or delete. Just, just so you know, that's just a little hint. So if you didn't save and you didn't do anything and you can undo and dismiss and stuff. If you didn't save and you didn't do anything, you can always get it back. And take a minute to, subs to, take a minute to explore all the different things. I've made so many, so much stuff out of Canva and, you know, I still think it's cool. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Again, as always, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, concerns about anything, please let me know. And you can email me or you can leave it down in the description. Uh, what? <laughs> you can leave it down in the cop... cop ah, fuck. Third time's a charm. You can leave it down in the comments below. <laughs> I did it. Yeah! And, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see from this channel. I told you it was going to be strictly gaming, but uh, I'm deciding to just do tutorials now and again because I can't find any games. So let me know what games you want me to play, and then maybe I'll play them. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. No notifications because I'm popular. Um, and you can change the back. I'm sorry. This is how to make thumbnails. Thumb? Like the thumb? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> so basically, I'm just going to stick with the plain back, black background. If I can! <laughs>